Welcome to another uh, Bellinger YouTube video. Today we'll be taking you through preventative maintenance on spin light tunnel. The first thing we're going to do is a dry walkthrough. Um, before we do a bay wet down, we're going to divide the whole tunnel into three different sections. We're going to do top, middle, and bottom for all of our preventative maintenance. All right, so part of the reason why we want to break up this, this walkthrough into three different zones, zone one being top, zone two being the middle, and zone three being stuff on the floor, is we want to make sure that we don't miss anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out and we're looking at our sudzer right here, and we're going to look for any obvious damage. We're looking for any uh, loose fittings, chemical leaks, while we're doing this, we're also looking at the cat track. Do we, uh, do we have any leaks up in the cat track? Do we hear any, uh, any air leaks? Do we see any water leaks? This zone one also includes motors for the top winder. Uh, here we come to the quick fire, arable oil canisters. Do we see any issues or any leaks with the arable oil canisters? Again, we're looking at the cat track as we go. Motors. Uh, air connections to our tip cylinder. Is there anything obvious possibly going wrong with the roars of the, uh, of the uh, quick fire? Continue with zone one. Looking at our cat track. Looking at our arch here. Do we see anything going on? A lot of people in, uh, when they do a PM, they never look up until it's too late. And then we have a, uh, a serious situation that's going to cost a lot of money. Just a quick walk through, looking at the dryers, our H2 air, looking at the airs, any obvious damage there. Also looking at those lights as we're walking through the tunnel. The active marketing, is that working correct? Motor connections, wiring, Aris is on the dryer. Just do a quick walk through and look up. No one ever looks up when they do a PM. You'd be amazed in what you're going to find. Okay, um, now we're going to start zone two. We've walked all the way down from entrance to exit. Let's look at zone two, which is the middle from the exit going back towards the entrance. Here we are, we're looking at the irises, air fittings, motors, clamps, any problems with the, uh, with the powder coat that we could uh, easily repair. Irises in the dryers. Again, we're looking at all of our active marketing. Is active marketing working okay? Zone two, stuff in the middle. Here we got chemical lines dropping down. We got, uh, we got a leak, we might, might see uh, chemicals dripping on top of our, uh, our sign here. Middle part of zone two. Our sign's working good. This is what our customers are gonna be looking at as they're going through the tunnel. Is that active site marketing working? Is that package confirmation working? Zone two again. Here we have uh, foam bullets. Do we see any leaking coming out of those foam bullets? Now we're coming to our sidewinders. Again, this is just a quick walkthrough. One look at our sidewinders, our quick fire. Are we missing any spin mitts? Are the LEDs working? Here's our other quick fire. Middle of zone two. Any obvious damage in this tunnel? Hey look, zone two we caught something. All right, we have something here on the uh, top winder we have to repair during our PM. We've got a broken fitting. That concludes zone two. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from entrance to exit 
And here we're going to look at zone three, the stuff that's on the floor. Here we got a bell switch for tire tracking. Is that bell switch, is that broken? We got a set of photo eyes that's going to start our, uh, our equipment in the tunnel. Take a look at the wiring real quick. Here we got a uh, chemical tire applicator. And uh, generally if you have a bad check valve somewhere, we're gonna see giant puddles of chemical here on the floor. So let's look at that. Here's our duo scrubber. Uh, a lot of stuff on the floor. So a lot of air fittings, a lot of water and chemical connections. We're gonna wanna look at these things. Take a look at the guide rail of the conveyor. Take a look at, at uh, where things are lagged to the floor. Spimmets on the floor. Now these, these lower spimmets, they come in contact with like, uh, you know, the lower uh, wheel wells of vehicles. They come in with, uh, um, you know, sharp edges on vehicles. You wanna make sure these aren't damaged. Again, looking at these fittings, looking at the, uh, looking for obvious leaks. Everything down here in the lower area. Here we got another chemical tire applicator. Looking for puddles. Here's our high pressure duo scrubber. All right, now we're looking at our tire shiner. Look at our foam rollers. See if there's any damage there. Any puddles of chemical on the floor. That, that, uh, that shiner chemical's not cheap, so we, we wanna put it on tires. We don't wanna shine the floor with it. And we're going to walk all the way to the exit of the car wash. After doing a complete walk through the tunnel, what you're going to do is a bay wet down. This will be checking that all the nozzles are working correctly and nothing is clogged. You can go through each piece of equipment. Make sure it's strained. Make sure all the strings are equal. And all now we're shooting water at the same amount. The last thing you can do in your uh, preventative maintenance is actually running a car. I would suggest using the best package just so that you can ensure every piece of equipment is being used and you can check how everything's running. Make sure the foam is coming out of the Southern nozzles evenly. CTA is spraying the entire tire. Low pressure duo scrubbers aren't pushing in too hard, but are doing penetration. Your quick players are hugging the car. And the nozzles that are spraying the water on them are even. Sidewinder's doing the same thing. Nozzles seem to be working. Contouring the vehicle.